Hi guys, and welcome back to the Dark Side Detective. So you might notice things are a little bit different. So actually my birthday's coming up right away, and Ross ordered me a mic. So I don't have to wear that big headset. <laughs> like, like kept on like, uh, the audio kept like glitching out and it sounded terrible. So hopefully this sounds a little bit better. And now I can wear my hair up if I want to. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. Okay. So, case three. Disorient Express. Case summary. Dooley has called me to the subway station to deal with an emergency. Okay. What is the emergency? Okay, what was his accent again? Detective, you're here! <laughs> I came as soon as you called, what's the case? Case? No, I just needed a ride. Station's closed. Closed? Yeah, some spooky train is blocking the platform. Anyway, let's go! Spooky train? Yep, spooky train. Anyway, we better get going or we'll be late to work. Dooley, it's a spooky train. We're the dark side division. Do you not think? I try not to. That's detective work. Let's go have a look then. Fine, but if we miss the three free donuts at work, you're buying. <laughs> so the only issue now that I have is that the this earphones or they're called earphones, right? Um, this side doesn't really work. It works like a tiny, tiny little bit. This side works fine, but this, these are the only pairs that I have that have the, the circle <laughs> point to put into your computer because all of the ones now are like the flat ones. So I'm going to have to get some new uh, earphones. Are you sure we can't just go to work? I need to get my morning nap. Sign. I can't say I'm surprised to find that something strange is happening here. Why is that? So is that it? Okay, let's go to the subway. Do you use the subway often? Oh, that was the voice I gave him, right? It was like Southern, wasn't it? Do you get use the subway often? No, before we had the squad car, I tended to take taxis. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, I was going to say, how did he afford to take a taxi? What? What? Did you just say something just then? What? Me? No, no, no. Oh, so I guess we flickering light. Flickering lights are always suggest spooky hijinks. That's what I find too, detective. So I guess we just need to get a ticket. Seems to be working, but I have no cash. Time to put this badge to work and make use of my police privileges. Oh, can we just go past the barrier? Sorry, detective. The barrier is broken. We have to crawl under it. Can't we at least jump over? No, the insurance for jumping was too high. <laughs> We're only cleared for a slow crawl. Being a cop is nothing like television promised it would be. <laughs> a ghost? Conductor Gill. Do you have a ticket, sir? 
Sorry, who are you? The train's conductor, sir. Right, you look a tad ghostly, sir. That I do. That I do. Are you a ghost? Not at all, sir. Ghosts are blue, for one. And they can't be seen, not without the proper equipment. No, we're from the dark side. Then what are you doing here? Train stuck, sir. Doing my job to keep the passengers safe while this gets rectified. Rectified? Yes, sir. I'm sure those boys from the bright side division are looking into it right now. Oh, bright side and dark side. Bright side division? Bright side division. Right. Why are you here? As I said, sir, train stuck. Not sure what caused it. Likely a problem with the track, sir. Would have to see inside the control rooms to be sure, but I can't leave my post here. Ticket? Thought not. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you solids to leave. Solids, eh? <laughs> There's a chuck of meat to you, sir. Did you just call us solids? Certainly not, sirs. That would be throwing around language. I wouldn't be throwing around language like that. Mm, okay. Come back any time, sir. Busker? Oscar the Crouch. Unky Sam don't want you to know about the truth I'm here to show, so it makes me frown. When I smell be a pig and this dumb sidekick come to shut me down. Sidekick isn't a word. Poetic license. Pig. Whoa. I mean, I don't really like cops either, but... See, it's just spooky. Gen generally spooky. Nothing special about it. Let's just go get donuts. Oh, speaking of which, I had donuts last night. So good. Dooley, it's glowing. Maybe it's red net? <laughs> mm, I don't think that's how it works. I mean, they do say that pregnant people glow, but mm, maybe not like that. Okay. There's something about this green, transparent, and eerie train that suggests it's not meant to be here. I mean, we already knew that. So, I buy the, like, made-in grocery store donuts from, I don't know if you have them where you live, but it's called, it's a grocery store called Sobeys. And they are the best donuts I've ever had. Like, even, like, there's this specialty donut shop, um, can't even remember what it's called right now, and it was, like, really hyped up, and we went and Ross got a donut, and I got a donut, and they were so bad. But these donuts at Sobeys are so, like, moist and, like, like, fluffy. And the chocolate on top is so sweet and creamy. Oh, I could just dream about it. Okay. I would wonder if this camera caught any useful footage, but I can't see the working light is painted on. But I can see that the working light is painted on. Oh, jeez. A plunger, but without the plungy bit. So useless, so a stick. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, yeah, these people are definitely thinking what I'm thinking. So a stick then. Oh, I just took it. Nice. Control room toilets. Bin. Hmm. There seems to be something in here. I just took a receipt out of the garbage. Can I look at this? A glowing green receipt that says for pickup. I can't read much else on it. 
Okay. Well, let's go to the toilets. It's so weird. In different countries, you'd say, like, hey, where are the toilets? Or I need to go to the toilets or something. But in Canada, we do not say that. We say, like, bathroom or washroom or something like that. Like, it's... <laughs> It just sounds kind of gross to us to say toilet. Oh, rat ran away. Okay. Cubicle. Oh, this poor guy's trying to take a shit. Shack. Mm, hi there. Oh, sorry, the door wasn't locked. Yeah, locks broke and I have no feet to hold against it. Right, well, uh, I'll leave you to it. Whoa, hold on. Hold up, daddy -o. I'm in a bit of a funky situation. Maybe you could help me out. Oh, mm, what is it? Still has no toilet paper, daddy -o. And I'm a cat that needs him some. Needs him some. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure, sure, we can look. I'm a bit of a bind, daddy -o. Ugh. It's weird to call a cop a daddy -o. I don't feel comfortable with any of this. You and me both, daddy -o. Okay, let's get out of this. Stop! Get out of here, free to rat! Stop coming back. Okay, let's try the middle one. What on earth is that? Not sure, but I think we need to send it back to wherever it came from. That probably would just overflow the toilet, would it not? No use. You could say that it is intentical. You could say that it it is intentical on staying where it is. Oh my god. The dad jokes are coming out. Eh eh? <laughs> I need to find something to push it down. Oh, the plunger. But we don't have a plunge, eh? Two more of these and I can have a mediocre juggling there. Okay. Yeah, I probably just got to stick it in with the stick, eh? Hey? Okay. Ah, oh, this rat. Okay, cubicle number two. Oh, toilet paper. Cute, creepy or not, nobody dares to be standard without toilet paper. I just flushed it for no reason. That noise reminds me of my career since I was assigned to the dark side division. Oh, going down the toilet, that's sad. Why do you always follow me into these tight spaces? Well, you know what they say about friends in tight spaces? Oh? Me neither. Oh. Very insightful. Oh, we need to give this to this person. Here you go, guy. Sorry to leave you hovering for so long. Far out, daddy -o. Here, take this coin as thanks. An occult coin? An evil looking coin about the size of a quarter. Oh, can we get a ticket now? Should we try? Oh, let's try the control room first. Oh. It's locked for now. Dooley? Ah, uh, come on, detective. You know as well as I do how these things go. So I can't go any more to the right. So let's try to get a ticket for the... There's not a chance in how this will work. Well, it seemed to have worked. Oh, right. Of course. You received a ticket. Okay, wait. Cops is dumb? Not as dumb as your grammar kid. Yeah, kid. <laughs> Cops is dumb. Wow. 
could work. Do you have a ticket, sir? I do have a ticket. Oh, do you? Only, it's just that you look a little... A little... Don't get offended, sir, but you look a little healthy. Anyway, please hand it over when you're ready, sir. Okay. Here you go. One ticket. Fine. On you go then, I suppose. Oh, I've got lots of people to talk to. Okay, let's talk to Hippie Gal. Well, hello there. Hiya! Where are you off to? I was on my way to San Frankenstein Cisco. <laughs> Obviously. But then we got stuck here. This place is terrifying. How so? Well, for a start, there's not a single screaming beast in the sky. Nobody's being followed by shadowmen, and nothing is on fire. Nothing. <laughs> Maybe you're not the girl for me. <gasps> wow. Granny Doodley? Is that you? Sorry, Terry. I'm Granny Gooley. You do look like my little Patrick, though. <gasps> my name's Patrick, too! Did you also like games of I Spy as a child? I did! I spy with my little eye the coming of the end. The world eating itself, rivers of gore flooding the streets. I don't, I don't know, I, oh sorry. I don't, I don't know this version of the game. I get my voices all mixed up when there's so many different voices. Oh, seeing the end, Tams was little Patrick's favorite. Okay, well, but these aren't ghosts though. Right? Sorry about that. I shouldn't be tired, it's like just after two in the afternoon. Party guy. I like your glasses. Da, dare, da, dare my party goggles. On your way to a party? Always, darling. Every place is party place when I have my goggles on. And I always have my goggles on. Even here now, we party on the train. Well, you guys are not helpful at all. Oh. We can go to the tracks now. Ah, a dark side portal. It appears we found our number one suspect for all these strange going on. You have the right to remain silent when questioned. Anything you say or do may be... Julie, what are you doing? Reading it, it's rats. And how exactly do you intend to arrest it? With my handcuffs, obviously. Top marks for enthusiasm, doodly. Did you ever see that documentary about cannibals that live in the subway tunnels? Nope. Me either, which I regret. <laughs> Julie, there are no cannibals in the subway. You don't know that. You didn't see the documentary. God. We can go through the portal. I mean... I guess. Looks like the purple rift has an accomplice. I'm going to need a second pair of handcuffs. Oh, Agent McScreen. You look familiar. 
Does the fire recognize the flame? Does the darkness recognize the shadow? Does the storm recognize the... the... wind? Rain? Damn it, man, I've lost my train of thought. So, you're an Asian here, huh? We are all agents of the never-ending hunt. Servants of the crawling death void. Mistress of the world's cruelty. Well, I'm happy you're doing okay for yourself. Thanks. It's been a lot of hard work and late nights at the office. Any idea what's going on? Interlopers, friends. Fleshy monstrosities. Things that should not be have come to pass. Tracks of chaos intertwine. Not so much of an idea right now, then. No. So receding hairline. How's that treating you? That's rude. But I'm going to say it anyways. The end comes for us all. Entropy. 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 Is a cruel mistress. Yeah, let's hope it's from growing up in this weird hole. Let's hope it's from growing up in this weird hole. So wait, are these the same people? But this is the bright side and this is the dark? I don't know, I'm confused. And goodbye, I best be going. We all had the best to be going to the places we would be, we all had the best to be going to the places we would best be at. That's a confusing sentence. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> oh, Raxa. We know her. Finally, somebody in authority. Hey. Sorry, guy, but you don't you don't know but you don't know any more than the rest of us hi detective what's going on axa why are you here getting the train home from college then we got diverted to whatever this is well we're all in the case now so get comfortable he means no yeah i get it let me know if i can help I don't. Will do. Any updates, detective? Still investigating, Raxa. Okay. Okay. Headphones. Hello? Do Daddy. I wonder if he even knows what's going on. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Conductor. Stay back, monster. Ooh, calm down. Sorry, I thought you were him. Him? The intense man in the tunnel who threatens to arrest and or eat every anyone who gets off the train. Arrest or eat? Yeah, but I'm not sure who chooses. What's going on here? You're not, you're really not him. I don't really know what's happened. We left the last station on time. Then some weird lights flashed, and now we're here. Wherever here is. Who's this man you keep talking about? He... He looks a bit like you, only not. Not at all, now that I see you. Properly see you. He talks about outside the train, sniffing for clues and snarling when he sees us. Has he hurt anyone so far? Thankfully, no. He seems more menacing than dangerous. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Sorry about the mix-up earlier. Waster? Tommy. Hey, dude. We've been on this train for ages. What's going on? I'm afraid because I keep seeing floating green people. I'm not at lip. Hey, I think I indulged a little too much for this morning. 
You probably shouldn't tell me that. I'm an officer of the law. Far out, dude. Never mind. Huh. So, that's... Oh, should I show the receipt to somebody? Maybe the other detective? No, thank you. I've already eaten. Oh, who should I get the receipt to? And we have a handle. <laughs> uh, Darklink, I don't buy anything from that ugly store. Get it away from me. Darklink. Recognize this? I think it's called a receipt, but I'm not sure. I live off the barter system. Okay, what about you, Granny? Do you know what this is? Oh, thank you, dearie, but I don't take young men's unsolicited phone numbers anymore. Hmm. Maybe this guy? Any idea what this is? I know what it's not, sir. It's not a ticket onto this train. Huh, who am I supposed to show this to? Warning sign? If you find yourself in a parallel dimension, please stay in the carriage. An oddly, an oddly useful warning. Yeah. Do you really have anything to say? See, these people look healthier. That's because they're alive, Dooley. Playing video games, listening to music, indulging in mind-altering substances, I guess they uh, are living life to the fullest. Oh, there was that one guy in the toilet. <laughs> Don't you think he knows any- oops. I didn't mean to look on that. He's still here, hey? Is this yours? No, but I found it in my pocket. Threw it in the bin on the way here. Wouldn't have kept it if I knew the paper snitch is in here. So, what am I supposed to do with this receipt? I should probably stay with these people. Make sure they're okay. You're tired from walking through the tunnels, aren't you? Stop using your Sherlock powers on me! For some reason I didn't realize I could go out over here. Go scoff. Now then, now then, now then, you look like one of those living folks we've got pulled in around the place right now. Officer Dooley? Name's Gooley, Chief of the Brightside Division. Brightside? Division. Specialties. Deal with threats from your neck of the woods as so as to speak. My neck of the woods? The other world that which from... The other world that which from whence you come, son. <laughs> I surprised your appearance. You are a detective. Him, albeit one down on his luck. Hey! I presume that being the case, you've crossed over to investigate your world's version of this situation? I am. Can you help? No, son, I cannot. This isn't your jurisdiction. You shouldn't leave this to us professionals and take care of our train back in your own world. Shouldn't you look into that? Jurisdiction, son, seems like a concept beyond a dangerous maverick such as yourself. Maybe I should slap you behind bars. Jeez Louise. 
sing me a song, buddy. What? You're the busker, not me. That's how buskers work here, you tourist. Can I show this to you? What's all this then? A note from your mom? No. Busker? Those look like lyrics to a song I once wrote. Aragurai. Beautiful. Brings the tears to my eye. What with the memories it stirs of me. Childhood spent plain. Cops and convicts on the Isle of Screaming Dog. 